because I'm obsessed with space. Um, it's like almost every day I sit with my father and I read about geography, and it's just so amazing for me. Start. Toddler, Toddler World Nursery was delighted to employ a trainee, twenty-year-old John Brown, Jonathan Brown, as their first male nursery school teacher. He was also the only man who applied for the job, but insists Mac Mac Marjorie Brown Marjorie Bowman or Bowman Marjorie Bowman. Can you ask your grandmother and them to give you some peace and quiet for a second so I can hear you? Yeah. Okay. So start again, Ed. He was also the only man who applied. He was, only, he was also the only man who applied for the job, but insist Marjorie Bauman, head teacher of the Torpy world, but for the best applicant. Both boys and girls would benefit from the experience of having a male role model in the nursery, says the mother of two, Marjorie. Marjorie. Sorry? Marjorie. Marjorie. Jonathan has always been interested in child care. His own mother is a child minder and his father is a teacher. I have always helped mom with looking after all the children, he says. I'm used to changing nappies, feeding babies, reading stories, and playing with Lego. But Jonathan is a rare male in a female form. Only 2% of the nursery teachers are men, and this hasn't changed for 10 years. Roger Olsen of the National Nursery Trust said, Men are often viewed with anxiety and suspicion in a, in a child children's environment, or they're expected to do things in the way women would do them. But men bring different things into childcare, and this has been difficult. Jonathan agrees. He is underqualified. Uh, he is qualified under 7S football coach and plans to introduce football lessons to the nursery for boys and girls. What do Jonathan's friends think about his choice of career? Actually, most of them are pretty cool about it, he says. Though they do make jokes about nappies. And I found that girls are, are, are quite uh, are actually quite impressed. So that's good. Okay. All right. So tell me about the men's world. Sorry? Read about a men's world. Yeah. Ten years ago, there were very few female in air traffic controllers. It was seen as a man's world. But now 25% of air traffic controllers in the UK are women, and the numbers are, uh, are increasing. Caroline Beck is one of them. She says, I've always been interested in planes because of my dad. He knew a lot about them. For a while, we lived near Heathrow Airport, and we used to watch all the planes taking off and landing. She was determined to be an air traffic controller. The 12 months of training, the exams and air crash simulation exercises were tough, says Caroline, but I was well prepared for my career. What I wasn't prepared for? was the reaction of some of the men, especially the older ones. The new women controllers were viewed with suspicion and they had to work twice as hard to be accepted by their male colleagues. Nowadays, things are better, but women are still in minority. I am the only woman in my team, but I get on well with my colleagues. They are still uh, there are still plenty of jokes about women. The men says, say that we can't read maps, which isn't true, but I generally don't mind. My job is high 
irresponsible and stressful. But I know I'm good at it. Yeah, so if you're good at something, then you should keep doing it, especially if you like it. Yeah. <laughs> Heathrow is how they say that. It's the airport in London. Heathrow Airport. Try saying that. Heathrow. Heathrow. Heathrow, yeah. All right. So what do you think? Can you think of a couple of jobs, occupations where you live, where there are more men than women or more women than men? Um, I would say that when we go fill our petrol, uh, like for cars and stuff, I see generally men there, not women. All right, this is gas stations and, and yeah, fill stations. Okay, so mostly men, not women. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Can you think of a job or an occupation or a career where it's dominated by women and not very many men? I would say like. Um, adoption stations, schools, uh, nurseries. Mm. Over there, we are uh, generally seeing women and not men, like that many men. Mostly teachers are mostly women. Yeah. Um. One second. You said, don't you said, adoption agencies, adoption stations. What's that? Uh, adoption, adoption stations. Like um, adoption places where we go ahead and adopt kids and dogs, like kids and dogs. You can adopt kids and dogs at the same place. No, not uh, at the same place. But the adoption stations are different. Like for so some, we have we can adopt kids. Some we can adopt pets. Uh, okay, so you have like actual buildings that are called adoption centers where you can adopt children. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so there must be a lot of children looking for homes in India. Yeah. Yeah, um, I hope I get to visit India one day when all this COVID is over with. Yeah. All right, here we go. Jonathan was better than the other men who applied for the job. Do you agree with that? Disagree? Yeah, I agree with that. Oh, yeah? How many yeah. men applied for the job? Sorry? How many men applied for the job? Um, there were none. There were none who applied for the job. Uh -huh. He'd be the best man. Yeah. He is the only one. He is the only man. He's the only one. Only women applied for the job with him. Yeah. John has lots of experience looking after small children. He's only 22. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? How do you not, know? Not much, but because he was, because his mom was, um, his mom was a child minder and his father was a teacher. So he was like, Almost with children, little children all the time. Exactly. So he did have quite a bit of experience. Yeah. For a young man, only 22. The percentage of male nursery school teachers is less now than it was 10 years ago? Um, it's the same. It's the same. It hasn't changed for 10 years. That's right. People expect male nursery teachers to behave like female nursery teachers. What do the people think? Most people, not all, but most. Um, like men are. What most people, what most people think, is that um, is they're expected to like. How do I say that? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> so most people believe that men should behave the same as women do in a nursery environment. Yeah. Yes, most people think that. 
but that's not the case. Yeah. The men bring different attitudes and different models. And of course you can coach sports and different stuff like that. So that's yeah. cool. bring something different. What did Jonathan's female friends think about his choice of career? They thought that that was pretty cool. Actually. Yeah. So good for him. He might be able to find a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Caroline, the number of air traffic controllers has risen over the past 10 years or still the same? Risen. It has risen for sure. Both Caroline and her father are interested in planes. Yes. Yes, they used to run, hang around at the airport. What airport? Um, Heathrow. Heathrow, that's right. Caroline wasn't surprised that the male air traffic controllers viewed her with suspicion. No, she actually um, didn't think that the reaction of some men was going to be like this. So she was surprised or she wasn't surprised? She was surprised. She was surprised. Quite a few of the air, air traffic controllers, yeah. Quite a few of the women air traffic controllers cannot read maps. No, that's not true. How do you know? Because, like, if we really want to do something, we can do it. But most, because, like, you need to know maps to uh, work in an air traffic or to be an air traffic controller. Yeah, exactly. They would never get. They would have never graduated from their training or their schools if they couldn't read a map. Yeah. yeah. What about you? Would you rather be a air traffic controller or a nursery teacher? Air traffic controller. Yeah, you're not afraid of all the buttons. No. <laughs> it's like Adam said. Nope. Too many. <laughs> buttons. Too many. <laughs> buttons. I don't want to have be responsible for a plane crashing. <laughs> <laughs> So if you could do any job, what would be your dream job? Um, <coughs> my dream job is to be an astronaut. An astronaut would be the dream job. Mm, yeah. Better get some higher marks. Because I'm obsessed with space. Um, it's like almost every day I sit with my father and I read about geography. And it's just so amazing for me. And because since I was young and I just came in my subjects, um, most things about space came in. And I always imagined me being in a spaceship and me just knowing so much about space. Mm, I, uh, I have very much the same way. I love, I find it very interesting and had ambitions like that when I was young too. If you couldn't be an astronaut, what would be your second choice? My second choice would be um, a professional badminton player. Professional badminton player? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a lot of, of is badminton a very big sport in India? Um, I wouldn't say a really big sport in India, uh, but we just want two medals, I think, uh, uh, because of the Tokyo, the Tokyo Olympics, which is going on right now. 2021 uh we just won two uh, medals in that uh, in badminton only okay. so i w- i wouldn't say that badminton was really that much recognized in india because like the major sport right now is cricket cricket still number one yeah 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 like in vietnam for example uh, football would be number one but badminton uh, well badminton is probably the second most popular sport here yeah what would be the second most popular sport in India? Um, I'm not sure about that. I think the second would be... Do they, what I think the, it would be football or basketball. I'm not sure about that. Basketball. It could be either of those. So what kind of sport, team sports do they have at your school? School, we have shooting. Shooting. Uh, yeah, and we have basketball, we have badminton, we have tennis, um, we have skating, we have taekwondo. 
What kind of skating? Roller skating. A roller skating, like the inline skates, the, the wheels in a line or the four wheels, roller skates. That one is like up to the kids, whatever their parents get them because uh, if uh, the kids want to do the four wheels, they can do that one. But it's all to get the kids. I haven't seen people roller skating in a long time. And yeah. it's shooting. What kind of shooting are you talking about? The one where you just stand straight and then you have uh, the gun and then uh, you get the board and like those circles, like the dart through oh, a circle it's, thing. It's, and then you have to aim and then shoot. They shoot them in the sky and you have to follow them and shoot them. No. 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 It's just like a circle and which has more circles in there. And then uh, it's on to a hook type of thing and uh, both and it's really sturdy and then you just have to shoot and uh, aim so you use rifles yeah that's cool yeah wow have you tried that yet no my father really wants me to do that because he says that um, I'm not a really like a person who can sit calmly be patient not move so he, he really wants me to do that that sounds like quite the experience. I've never heard of shooting practice or sports in schools. <laughs> but is it illegal to have a gun in India? Uh, um, I think you need to have a special license. I'm not sure about that. But people do own guns. Yeah, some people, uh, like at least 10 people in India, more than 10 people have to have guns in their house. I mean, like... So pretty, pretty, yeah. Okay. All right. You did pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I'll go edit all this and try to post it in the next few days. And then I'll send you your report. Okay. Probably, probably tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice weekend. We'll see you. Our class didn't change, did it? No interest. 27. This Friday night. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.